From the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Aaron Reeves. Well, the most recent drought monitor still shows quite a lot of drought west of uh, I-44, but it's improved a bit. There's less of these red colors, so that's good. That's progress. We're still going to see more progress over the coming week. So look at this. The next seven days out west of I-35, we're looking at half inch to an inch plus. So that's good. That's going to be uh, very helpful. And the other good thing is, is uh, kind of over here, we've uh, got some places that need to dry out, like my backyard. Uh, we're going to not be nearly as uh, fruitful with the rainfall totals, generally less than a tenth of an inch. But uh, really pretty good rain standing for areas west of Tulsa, so that's certainly much needed. We will see the drier, more comfortable air. That's going to be hanging around the next couple of days. We'll start to see those dew points creep back up towards 60 by midweek. Then it'll start to feel slightly humid once again, but all in all, I mean, really not too bad. We got a lovely uh, stretch a couple of days coming up ahead of us. Quiet weather, a few high clouds are going to be streaming in, but that's going to be about, about it. All in all, we've been pretty good. Today, 73 in Tulsa, 80 in Dallas. Lots of just really nice weather, basically east of the Rocky Mountains. A little warm out west and a little cool up here in the Great Of course, if you watched the golf tournament earlier, it was just, it was soggy out there at the uh, the old PGA Championship. Beautiful, still a little bit of daylight out there. Look at that. It's uh, hard to believe we're getting to that time of year. Temperature at 65, winds are calm, dew point in the low 50s. So we're going to see another one of those nights with, when those temperatures drop pretty effectively. We're going to get down close to this dew point temperature, so we'll likely see a little bit in the way of patchy fog tomorrow morning. Temperatures right now hanging out generally upper 50s to low and mid 60s in a few locations. Really nice night, just a few high clouds streaming through. And as we head into the overnight hours, we're going to be talking about generally clear skies, few high clouds. We'll see a little bit of patchy fog once again early tomorrow, waking up cool 40s to low 50s. So perfect weather for a morning run, which I have tomorrow, so I'm going to be enjoying that a lot more in the past few. Uh, 77 tomorrow afternoon, just a nice day, a few storms way, way out to the west. Then around 80 on Monday, once again, a few more clouds. And then Tuesday, we'll start to see some slight rain chances creeping in, better chances out west. But all in all, pretty nice weather as we head forward over the coming uh, several days. Look at your precipitation outlook. does show those rain chances returning. They'll be kind of scattered in nature and then not completely going away. There will be enough uh, activity in the region to at least warrant maybe a 10% chance as we head into the weekend. We'll be able to refine that as we learn a little bit more about where those are going to be centered over the coming days. But in the meantime, shouldn't be a washout, but there will be times when we get those chances. Temperatures near normal, a little bit around to below to eventually going above as we head toward the end of the week. And we could stay in that above normal range as we head into the final week of May and then rolling into the first part of June. Mid, We'll see those average highs that time of year, low to mid 80s, and then near normal rainfall as far as that goes as we head into that same time frame. And then as we look into tomorrow, once again, some patchy fog to start off, but all in all, really, really nice tomorrow afternoon. We are talking about another really super weather day uh, across the region. We'll keep those temperatures near normal the next several days. We'll just see those rain chances creep back up a bit, especially out to the west as we head toward the middle of the week with all in all those temperatures right around where you'd expect them this time of year. So all in all, we're pretty good. That's a look at your weather forecast. Lots of softball, lots of baseball going on. Let's go ahead and get right to sports.